In this demo, I want to show you how ArcGIS Pro helps create a digital twin of the build environment to simulate the entire city and predict future outcomes for a development plan. In the city of Toronto, planners can predict population growth using an infographic tool. This tool shows the percentage of the population growth from 2020 to 2030. Now it's time to think about providing adequate, accessible, and affordable housing options for future residents. Toronto has experienced a housing squeeze where many residents are stressed about finding and keeping a place to live. Toronto Community Housing provides homes to nearly 60,000 low and moderate income households. This map shows the community housing market based on the available units in Toronto's neighborhoods. This information has been provided by the City of Toronto and can be downloaded from their open data catalog. This map reveals that there is a potential for a development plan of affordable housing around the North York region. Now, let's examine the special patterns of quality of life in the North York region. The quality of life presented in this map has been calculated based on socioeconomic well-being indices, including health, demographic, and economic indicators. This map can be found in ArcGIS Online. According to its item description, indicators such as access to TTC stops, childcare centers, and local employment had been taken into consideration. As you see in the map, the maximum weighted linear combination score is 0.6, and the minimum score is 0.2. Let's look at the Newton Brook neighborhood. As you see, Newton Brook East has a high score of 0.4, which reveals it will be an excellent place for a new development plan. Let's dive into Newton Brook East and interact with the development site using the integrated mesh provided by our partner NearMap. This mesh takes the visualization and evaluation of the site for affordable housing to the next level. Here, we can quickly flatten the integrated mesh at the footprint of the new scenario. To modify the integrated mesh first, I import the footprint polygon of the proposed plan to define a scenario. And then I apply the replacement operation to flatten the footprint and make it ready to bring the proposal plan to the site. After I modify the mesh, I will save the edits. Now the site is ready to add the proposed plan. These building features are texture multi-patch features. This proposed plan can serve a 6,000 population and it provides 20,000 parking spots for 2,000 jobs and 3,000 households. The sad truth is these buildings release carbon dioxide directly when they use equipment that relies on fossil fuel combustion. To tackle these complex problems, we must make accurate three-dimensional models of CO2 emissions caused by these high-rise buildings. One way to visualize the CO2 emission prediction is to create a voxel layer using empirical Bayesian Kringing 3D and the GA layer 3D to NetCDF tools. Let me take you on a quick tour of calculating this voxel. 
to start, we need an accurate measurement of CO2 emissions produced by each building. ArcGIS Urban helps calculate the CO2 emission for the entire proposed plan. We use the empirical Bayesian Kringing 3D geoprocessing tool to interpolate the CO2 measurements into a continuous model that predicts CO2 emission everywhere between the measured points. Let me show you the output. The 3D geostatistical layer automatically enables a range slider depend on the household population and height of each building the amount of co2 emission will be varied you can see how green space can absorb carbon dioxide this color scheme uses red to indicate areas with above 7.8 tons of co2 per day to visualize the CO2 predictions as a voxel layer, we use the GA Layer 3D to NetCDF tool. This tool allows us to export the CO2 interpolated model to NetCDF format. We can provide the separation between these gridded points using the X, Y, and elevation spacing parameters. There are many ways we can explore this volume of emissions. One way is adjusting the data filter and transparency in the symbology pane to highlight a high concentration of pollution and make a lower pollution values transparent. Another great way to explore the predicted model is the ISO surface which is 3D equivalent of contours. One way to reduce carbon emissions is to mitigate fossil fuel electricity production by using renewable energy. According to Canadian Advisory Council on Climate Change, a residential solar panel system can provide for an entire home's electricity needs with about 80% lower carbon emissions than fossil fuels. The Development Impact Analysis Solution delivers a set of tasks that help us calculate a yearly solar radiation raster for the proposed development. This solution allows us to calculate the total solar radiation for each building. As you see in this demo, ArcGIS Pro has the exciting possibilities to explore, analyze, and experience our assets and the world around us. It helps to create an impactful smart community solution and simulate the next digital twins of tomorrow.